Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review, um, and more generally speaking, an app that's also available on the web and for iOS, and it's a broadcast listening and creation app called Anchor, so let's say you want to listen to news or entertainment or reviews or things um, in bite-sized formats, that's where the app Anchor comes in. So um, it is a free app and website where you can get shows um, easily and quickly. You can even favorite shows and then get access to them via a home screen widget. Um, so essentially that's the bulk of the app. So once you install it and log in, or even log in from the website, then um, you'll get a rundown for what's going on today. You get a list of um, suggested shows as well as um, shows that you favorite so you easily have access to whatever um you want to listen to and um basically whatever content is interests you um so that's your home tab on the search tab you can get access to content by category popular stuff and recent stuff so let's say you're looking for something in entertainment you can get you see the show name a little bit, <coughs> a description of the show and um by clicking on it you get um you can jump into listening to the show <coughs> the app itself also has an ability to call in so let's say you want to provide feedback on uh something that you just listened to then you can click the call in button and if that sh person um wants to use their feedback or a show or share it on their another episode of their show then you can simply do that by calling in and they can play it on the air publicly if they so choose and insert into the show, which is another feature of the show. So if you want to create a quick call-in segment for um, a podcast you host or want to create a call-in for feedback on whatever you're doing, then um, you can do that as well. Um, on the popular tab, you can see what's popular. So you can see I have um, favorite uh, um, shows like Daily Tech Headlines. And let's say you, um, you want to get... Um, updates on Game of Thrones and you can do that so I'll even favor them because I'm interested in the show so something to um, take a look at and um, you got that going on so pretty simple um, stuff there and then you have a notification or an activity tab so if you, you can see that some people have favored a show that I've started so um, on that front I'll jump into that so for me um, as far as the pod, my podcast Life of an Accounting Droid I created an anchor um, show called Accounting Droid pretty simple the character limit is pretty low so I created something simple and easy to get to um, so it's basically just a show um, uh, audio only of just things that are coming up in the show instant reactions um, what content may be coming up and things that I'm talking about. So, for example, um, yesterday I released a quick update as far as um, watching The Shining, my thought, quick thought on American God, spoiler free, and same thing on regarding YouTube TV and their adding of um, a few new channels, namely AMC. So, um, namely AMC. So there is that as well. And then there's a couple of other episodes I've also released there. Um, I'm not sure if that audio playing overlapped or not. Um, but yeah, basically that's the bulk of what I do. And is, uh, the beauty of it is that all content is five minutes or less. So it's not even that taking too much time out of your day. Um, so if you want to just get quick bites and you don't really like long form shows or you have a quick commute or just want something to change that changes automatically, um, while you're working out, then Anchor is the app for you. Um, you also get, uh, or on your profile page, you also get access to your favorite shows. So I only have three at the moment, but, um, there basically you get that list so you can easily do, see what shows you favorited and, uh, if you want to remove them or get the latest episodes of the shows, you can get access to that. As far as recording the show, all you have to do is go to the plus sign and you can, um, you don't necessarily have to have a headset plugged in, but if you do, you can use that and you start recording and um, you can start recording whatever shows you have and um, or whatever content you want to share. If you want to add music, it's um, powered by Spotify, so you can do a search for content that way. If you want to add um, interlude content, so if you want to add um, certain con like transition audio, you can do that. If people have called in, you can... Um, 
add that show to your show as well. So um, just hitting the plus button will add that there. And then there's other uh, clips as well. So if you want to see um, popular or recently trending clips, then you can do that as well. And then wh when you're done recording, you'll just hit the red button again. Um, if you want to add a background track, then that's um, something that you can do as well. When you hit um, done, it'll give you the option to add a caption. So however you want to describe whatever you're talking about. So you can add just a sentence. Or for me, I just do the quick overview of topics um, separated by the vertical line. So this a quick, uh, quick um, subject kind of thing to show that's what's in this particular review. So I'm not going to actually save this particular recording, but um, it'll tell you if you want, in case you click on the X by accident and you do want to share, you can do that. Um, or if you made a mistake and want to start over, then um, you can exit out there. Um, the other thing you can do as well with your episode, so let's say I want to share this to... Um, Let's say I want to share this to social media or via email, WhatsApp, or anything like that. You can hit the share button, and you can either share the station or share the segment. So when you do share segment, you have your usual ways of um, sharing. So let's say you want to share via, I don't know why Snapchat, but if you want to share to Twitter or Facebook or anything like that, then you can do that as well as a way of sharing. Um, and then... Um, you also have things like applause on and playback speed and things like that as far as audio options. So if you want to change how fast you listen to it, then there is that as an option as well. So that's really the bulk of the um, app. So I think the website is Anchor. I want to say Anchor.fm. I actually didn't have a chance to look, but if you do a Google search for Anchor app, it'll come up. Um, or if you search uh, the Google Play Store or um uh, the Apple App Store, then you'll find the Anchor app as well there to install and use. So definitely worth checking out. So if you want to check out Accounting Droid on Anchor, it's available as Accounting Droid. Just look it up in the apps or on the website and make sure you favorite it. Um, and of course, if you want to check out this review or other reviews, visit youtube.com slash pateln01. All subscription links and social media links for the podcast can be found at pateln01.com and the one thing i forgot to mention was that the anchor app also has a widget so if you go to your widget list and look for anchor you'll be able to add it and then if you want you can um, add up to five of your favorite shows so i'll add um all of these and i'm not sure or actually i've never actually created one so um once you add your favorites, I guess at some it'll automatically refresh. You can um, edit. Um, let's say you want to change your favorites, you can edit those as well, and then they'll show up as a, a quick link. So let's say I want to check out the Daily Blip. It has new episodes, so I'll um, click on that, and I'll um, it'll load it up to play. So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com, and you can find me on Twitter at pateln01. I already got all the links um, otherwise, but um, the website has everything, pateln01.com. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.